Adventures of the Super Sons issue 8, Peter J. Tomasi writing Carlos Barberi on yeah. the art. Uh, I feel like our discussions of this are getting quicker and quicker because there's very little to say about it. Mm-hmm. It's just it's just fun and good, and there you go, as your review. <laughs> Rex, yeah, Rex Luthor, he does, does some stuff. Uh, the Joker Jr. has another flipping heel turn here. Well, well, no, he doesn't, no, no, he has a face turn and he pretends he's having a heel turn, but he's yeah, actually still on the good yeah. guy's side. Also, Connor, how much do you know about Space Cabby? Because, hold on, don't, don't spoil it, Pete. Okay. Like, how, I mean, how much... It... Passing knowledge. Okay. Why? So then, well, apparently all the Space Cabbies are basically automatons, because Joker Jr. talks about how he terminated Space Cabby, and, and John's like, you killed somebody? He's like, Oh no, it's fine. They all come from the same place. Like the same bowling. So I don't yeah. know if that's Joker Jr. justifying that he murdered Space Cabby, or which universe this is... Is, are we in here? Regular. Yeah, like... I think so. Okay. Well, I think so. Yeah. Anyway, there's, there's no indication. Oh, I'm checking. But... Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, I was not aware yeah. of this, but I mean. Yeah. Either was I. But the way that Tomasi throws it out there, it's just kind of like, well, this is something that everybody knows. But, yeah. Uh, whenever he showed up, he's always felt like just a, a character. A dude. Yeah. yeah. He's been terminated. He goes and at the Warriors Bar. I'm, 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 on, I'm, I'm on Wikipedia now. Um, yeah. He's looking up Space Cabby. Um, yeah. So basically, they're just trying to like find a way off the planet, and they're looking yeah. at how they can escape, and they eventually get... It's not a, It's like a vroom tube, <laughs> they call it. Yeah. Credit credit to that, that these all these planets are tied together by this vroom tube, and it, it allows easy access on and off of this, basically, penal colony. Yeah. Also, the idea of a Green Lantern cadet program is actually kind of cool. Like, I had yeah. issues with it before thinking that he was lying. Well, I don't think he is. Like, no, because saw... it, it sounds like something the Guardians actually do and yeah. the hopes that you'll be worldly at some point. So he's not actually got yeah. a Green Lantern ring yet, but he's got the uniform yeah. and he's, he's in training. Yeah. Uh, no, I like that. I like that they've got this other, like, essentially they're building like a mini Justice League to fight the mini Legion of yeah. Doom. Because uh, yeah. Lex has way more people now that he's turned into, like, Earth, uh, Earth villains. And at the end of the issue, he like basically sends Superboy and Robin and the Green Lantern in training into the tube somewhere. He's like, "I'm not going to chase after them. You know what? That's in the past. I've got a galaxy to take over. So he's he's got loftier goals. He wants to take yeah. over the galaxy uh, now. And that's yeah. that's basically. It. And also, Robin in the last week that they've been in this planet built himself a bat cave. Multiple bat caves. Multiple bat he caves. Has different safe houses. Different sectors. John's like, of course you did. Yes. Because that's what you do. Yes, uh, which didn't um, me laugh. But... I, I read the wiki page, regular yeah. wiki, not DC wiki, um, right. but not a single mention of this. This all talks about it being a person who, you know, had a life and then became a space cabbie. Mm-hmm. So, so then, yeah, I don't, I don't know. No, no it was just the, it stuck <laughs> out to me because it was so nonchalant. And I was yeah, just like, Whoa. yeah, it didn't make a big deal of it. It was very, it was very just no. kind of matter of fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something I'm not familiar with and. A brief cursory glance at Wikipedia is yeah. not telling me anything. Yeah. And R again yeah. from Barberry Solid. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's, you know, very cartoony, very expressive. I, colors I are do bold, love how, how deep Tomasi is going into the, the villain's pool to pull out some of these, you know, yeah. Rex Luthor, Rainbow Raider, Legion and... members. Yeah. Yeah. There's a whole, whole bunch of wacky ones now. And yeah. like Man- Manta's like saying, "Oh, you've actually got yeah. powers. I just have to deal with a suit that only really does stuff underwater." Uh, yeah. But the helmet's pretty tight. <laughs> I think was the yeah. line. <laughs> so, so yeah. it, it's fun. I just, I just feel like this is. I don't want to call it a throwaway because it's not. But it's like, it's a junk food version. Yeah, it, it kind of is. Like, I, I feel like if this was on a busier week, it may get dropped because yeah. it would be a lot of books and it doesn't feel like it's something that needs to be read. But it is very yeah. fun. So. You know, as long as it's on a, a light week, I'll keep reading it. Uh, mm. Even though the discussion from it's really quite basic and simple yeah. at this point. Uh, it's, yep, still good. It's still fun. Yeah. Yep. Uh, it's a, so, I mean, I didn't like this one as much as last issue, but yeah. uh, it's, still, it's still a solid seven. So I don't know how you feel, Matt. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to give it a, a, a six, five. I think you liked it a little more than I did. I just, it's junk food. Like, yeah. It, did you enjoy that brownie? Yeah, it was good. It was brownie. Yeah. Yeah. You get what you're expecting, right? Yeah. Uh, Yeah. Yeah.